Hi Dress Out Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Moondrop from Five Nights at Freddy's. So let's get started. To draw this cool character, let's first start by drawing his cheeks. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle or oval. Doesn't really matter. So we just want this round shape right here. And then I'm going to come right next to it and we're going to draw a big curve right next to it for the eyes. And then right here we're going to connect and come in there. And then I'm going to come right across, say about right here, and I'm going to draw the eye once again. So same thing on the other side. But before I finish this, I'm going to imagine there's a cheek here as well. But I'm just going to go ahead and draw part of it. So I'm going to draw a curve right there and connect. So we don't see that side because it's dark, right? <laughs> this makes it easier. We don't have to draw it. Then from there, let's see here. Let's come to the center, about a little bit past the center, say about right here, next to the eye. And I'm going to come down and we're going to start to draw the nose. We're going to curve right to the eye. And then using this eye as our, for our curve for our nose, we're going to come right here and draw this curve, this hook nose, and bring in this little curve right in here. There. And then let's see here, there's some dots right here that I can just go ahead and put in. And then we can go ahead and um, draw the mouth. So coming from this area right here, we're going to use this curve for the nose and we're going to go up towards our cheek. And then we're going to come down for our mouth, a big curve to about right here in the center and we're going to cut it off. And then draw some teeth. So I'm just going to radiate some lines out and then find my center and draw another curve. So then now that we have that in, let's go ahead and we're going to start to frame the face. So let's come next to the eye, about right here. We're going to draw this curve. So imagine as if you're drawing a circle and come right next to it, about right here. And draw a curve. And let's work on the top first. I'm going to bring this in just a little bit and here as well. And then I'm going to connect the top. So and I'm pretty even. I'm going to go ahead and just draw this big curve above. Just wearing this little nightcap. So now that we have that big curve in, let's pop this out a little bit on both sides and connect once again to the top. Wobble a little bit. Add some lines for some detail. And then we're going to come right here and go up to center. And then we're going to start to head down. And past this point right here, we're going to flare it out. And thicken it up with a curve. And then right here, we're going to draw a little circle. And let's come back in here. And we're going to draw this little detail. So there's a little curve right there. Okay, so then now we know where the top is. Let's continue this point. We're going to go up a little bit more and then we're going to curve it out. So let's curve it out towards the side and then bring it in. And there's this little detail right here over the eye. So I'm just going to give this little dot and then curve it down. There's a little detail. Then from there, let's go ahead and finish the bottom. So once again, we're imagining a circle. Bring it down. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw and complete my circle. So it's easier if you're using a pencil, definitely just draw a circle first. Then you can put everything in if that's easier. Okay, so I have this nice moon <laughs> shape head. I'm going to bring this down a little bit more and then I'm going to taper in this curve towards the side. There. And this is all going to be black. So I'm just going to go ahead and shade that in really quick so you know what's going on or else it's pretty confusing. It's just much easier just to make this all black so we don't have to draw in 
too many details. And thank you for loving my sun drop drawing and requesting that I draw moon drop for you as well. I hope you love these two drawings just as much. Along with all of my uh, five, five Nights at Freddy's drawings. Okay, so there. It makes a little bit more sense, right? Hopefully. Now that we are done pretty much with the head, let's go ahead and draw the body. So I'm going to find my center about right here and here. We're just going to start with that ruffle that's on his neck and I'll come about right here and here. I just want to make sure I'm kind of centered and I'm going to go up and down and up and down. So I'm just simplifying this to make it a little bit easier. And everywhere there's an up, just come in right here and add a curve. And then you can add a little detail right here to taper it in. But like I said, I'm just trying to make this part simpler. It's not about the ruffles, right? <laughs> and then let's bring the body down. Small little body. All right here and here and then I'll taper in, curve in and connect. And let's keep going down for this little waist and connect. And then there's this little band right here. So I'll come in here with that little detail and some buttons. And there's a split, so I'll just come in here, curve around, find my center, and come down with this line. So then there's more ruffles here, so let's flare this out. And find our center again, so about right here and here. And then once again, I'm just going to simplify this, just go up and down, wherever there's an up. Connective align. There. Okay, so now I've got that ruffle in. Let's come down to the center and about right here. I'm just going to give myself an angle line. This is where the legs are going to start. So I'm just going to add two curves. So it's just basically like my sun drop drawing. And we're going to pop out this big balloon leg. So let's come down and about right here I'm just going to go ahead and connect. And same thing here. two big balloon um, pants and then it's going to all come down the same angle right here. I'm going to add a little section right here and then more ruffle. So I'll totally simplify this even more and just go wobble all the way across and just put in three lines and continue the feet and we're going to cut it off right there and then we're going to start the shoe. So come down Let's go out and we're going to curve it to a point and come right around and connect. And then in this area, we're going to draw that little circle for the bell. And before I forget, better put in a moon right here going this way. Okay, so same exact thing. So we want it coming out at the same angle. So about right there. And once again, just flare it out. To make sure I'm at the same level. And once again, we're just going to go out. And connect. And then the little bell and the moon. 
Okay, so now that we're done with that part, let's draw the arms. So I thought I would change this up. Um, so unlike Sun Drop, let's have the arms coming out because he is the scary one, right? So let's come about right here, nice and high. And we're just gonna pop out this angle line and I'm gonna start to curve it down. And let's thicken it up. So about right here, we're gonna go out to where it bends about right there and then we're gonna bend it in. So let's see right here, we're gonna cut it off with some details so we know what's going on. So let's work on this hand first. So I'm ending shorter because right in this area, I'm going to draw a curve for a thumb. So this is a little macaroni kind of shape. And then we're going to draw the fingers. So hopefully this is not too complicated and I'm helping you. So we're gonna come right here, just draw four more curves. So one, two, another one. We're just gonna keep going down and then a little pinky. So it's just a little waterfall of fingers. And then right in this area, we're just going to draw a curve right there to finish it off and you can connect it right there as well. And right here. Maybe you can see a little bit of detail. Okay, and then right next to this finger, we're gonna put in the bell, the little line, and then the ribbon. So I'm gonna come right here and draw this ribbon, the tail of our ribbon. There, so hopefully that was um, not too bad <laughs> and it helped you draw it. So let's do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna drag some points in here and let's go out just like the other side. If my Sharpie would work. So about right here, we're gonna start to bend down. So just take a look, approximate. Same length as the other side. And then here, and come out. And then once again, we're gonna cut it off. And here as well. So on this side, let's go ahead and we're going to once again draw the thumb. So let's go this way. I'm gonna draw this little shape right there. Connect, and then we're gonna draw the fingers. So let's come right here. It's a little bit different. Come down one, and go out, two, Three. So everything is still kind of at a curve and four and then we can connect it there and then we're going to come right here one two three four and that looks kind of weird but hopefully it makes sense and then detail right there and then a bell Maybe that side's easier, huh? Maybe that side makes more sense. Okay, the little bell and then the ribbon. I was trying to change it up. <laughs> Hopefully I helped you. And now we have the fingers and I think the only other thing we need to draw are the stars, right? So let's just come in here and I'm just going to quickly just draw some stars to fill up the space. There. And same thing here. So, so some of them are big, some of them are small, going at different directions. So if you need help uh, learning how to draw stars, just Google my draw secute, how to draw Star, and hopefully I can help you with that. And here and there. So just getting smaller, changing up the direction. It really doesn't matter just how much detail you want to put in here. Okay, 
one more. I feel like I need something here, right? <laughs> and one here. There. Okay, that's enough, hopefully. Um, but that is pretty much it. I really hope I helped you uh, draw a moon drop here, just like I did with sun drop. And then I did it over complicated and I was able to help you. And if I did, please uh, give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.